Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can auto categorize all your WordPress posts without clicking a single button using N8N automations. If you're like me, I have 88 posts on my WordPress and I got to say I'm super lazy. I just set them as general or I don't even give it as, as a category. But here you can see after I ran my N8 automation, I got AI tools, analytics, six different tags. And there's 10 to 20 articles in each one. And if you scroll down, you see each article that I published has a category. And if you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to do the same, run this automation, whether you have 100, 200, 1,000 blog posts, you'll be able to auto categorize them. So let's get started and show you how you do it. I'm gonna show you the general flow of how it works and then go into each one bit by bit. Okay, so how does this work? Well, first of all, this is something you probably don't need to run all the time. And so I set it as something you only run when you trigger it. The next thing you need to do on a high level is to get all your WordPress posts. Once you've got all your WordPress posts, you pass it to AI. I like to pass it to Open Router because there's a lot of free models you can use. The AI will look at the blog content and title and then decipher what is the category tag that's most appropriate for your blog post. Then it'll do some um, parsing and cleaning of the data and then it'll go back and set the category for each post. Now, before we can run this automation, there's a little thing you need to set up, which is, unfortunately in N8N, you are not able to create new categories. So before you start, you have to come up with some category names, add it to your WordPress, and then this work will, will choose from an existing list of you know five to 10 different categories that you already have. So how do you do that? Well, it's really simple. All websites, um, if you go, this is my website, rumjin.com, if you go to your website and you go slash feed, it will have all the information of all your blog posts. What you can do is then you, you can give it a prompt that says, given all the prompts, post on my blog, give it the feed and analyze it and suggest three to seven relevant categories for each. Focus on broad topics that will help readers find related content keep categories consistent across posts. Now, Poe doesn't actually access my website. It doesn't have the ability to do that. <clears throat> so another option is you can actually download this, right? You have the feed, you can go to file and save as, and then I downloaded the file and uploaded it and ran the same prompt and boom, voila, you know, it's given me a lot of different content titles. And so, I said, okay, give me six content categories and just give me the content names. And that's how I ended up with my six different categories. And it's important, right? Because uh, actually the trouble I was having is I don't even know, you know, what, because content sometimes overlaps between multiple uh, categories. Uh, you can come up with like a hundred different category names and this really helps you um, come up with a simple, concise uh, category list. Now, once you have this, the next thing you need to do is you need to add them to your WordPress. And so you need to go to your WordPress site, log in, go to post categories, and for each one of those categories, add them back in. Okay, and I've done that already in this one. Now, once you've done that, we can go start running our automation. Now, I'll show you the first one it gets all your WordPress posts. And I set it to get many, but if you wanted to run for all your posts, you can do return all. But if you wanna test it, you can set a limit to five or four or whatever you want just to run it smoothly first. Then you can run it for all your posts. Now, once it gets WordPress posts, it'll pass to AI. And this is the secret sauce I've created a prompt that basically says, uh, you are an expert content strategist and tax taxonomy specialist with extensive experience in blog categorization and content organization. And I put them in the system prompt, right? System prompt is basically where you tell the AI agent what their role is, right? And it, I'll do another video about the, the RICE framework uh, where you have to set the role <clears throat> and, and all these other different things. And then in the message, this is what I have. 
I will provide you with a blog's title. Your task is to assign one primary category ID from this fixed list. Uh, 13 equals content creation, digital marketing, blah, blah, blah. Analyze the title and turn only the single most relevant category ID number that best represents the main focus of the post. While a post may touch on multiple topics, select a dominant theme that would be most useful for navigation purposes. I'll put only the category number. So this is where the magic happens, right? It looks at the blog title and then it selects the right category tag for it. Once it does that, it does a little bit of magic, basic sorting, clearing up the data. Then it goes into WordPress, gets to, for each blog, it will set uh, a category name. And the reason, the little trick here is that each category has a category ID. So you need to find a way to find a category ID and input it here. So whatever categories you have, you have to find the ID and put them all in here. Just replace this section, this section, and then run it and you should be able to be, uh, run this automation for yourself. I'll take the ID and I'll set it. So let's look at one of the successful executions. So it gets you know all the blog information and passes to AI and then it tells you oh for each blog article this is you know category 19, category 17, 19, 19, 15. And I just click a button, run it, and boom, 88 posts are all categorized. I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.